Hello, I know what you're thinking. How can I make money on TikTok? TikTok now is not going anywhere, we, we know that. Um, in terms of um, how big it is, it's, it's, it's got to the point where it's so big, I think that it'll just consistently evolve, like things like Instagram, Snapchat and stuff. So companies now jumping on it now and realising how do we keep going, how do we keep putting out the content. So there's a variety of ways you can make money on it. Some more reliable than others. This is the Great British YouTubers podcast with me, Neil Mossy. Hello, it's awesome to have you here. This is a place where we share advice, experience and tips with high achieving creators and performers just like you. And in this episode, Stephen McKell. Stephen has over 2.3 million followers on TikTok clocking up over 500 million views. He also has a YouTube channel, so is absolutely the best person to talk about YouTube versus TikTok. This is part two of our chat and all the other episodes are in the description. And this is a, this is a delicate question, an awkward question, but mm -hmm. do you make money on TikTok? Yeah, I do. I have. Um, when I first started it for the first few years, um, you know, there's different ways to make money on TikTok, and I think some people are a little bit um, dubious to talk about it because, you know, they they don't want to. But I'll be the one to set the record straight. Now, joking. <laughs> um, uh, there's there's different ways ways you can make money on TikTok. So you can do live streaming, um, where people then send you gifts and they buy gifts from the app and they send you them, um, and in return, you like some people have live streams where they play games, where they do. Um, now you can guess people in sometimes. It's like so, so you get something back for that, or if you want to support your your, your favourite creator, you can do it that way. Me personally, I've never asked for that on live streams. I've been giving gifts, and no matter you can tell it, you can tell people don't give me them all you want. Some people are still just going to give you gifts, um, and a lot of mings nowadays are like the small gifts and like thank you, but like save it and like donate to somewhere or do something else um, with it. I just want you to join my live streams to have fun. But other people can make a living from it. They can make, they, they, they put a lot of time and effort into live streaming. Um, I used to live stream, like I used to, I live stream like two years straight on the platform. Every night I live stream and that, that was for me to build my following. Back then it was really big because it was cheaper for gifts and people, some, some creators in America got done really well on gifting. Um, but now TikTok have put in like measures to keep it safe for so kids can't send gifts on the app, you have to be 18 or over, you have to be 16 or over to live stream, which I totally agree with, because then what they're doing is safeguarding the the people watching, but also the, the creators that are live streaming. But um, that's one way you can do it. This is a long-winded answer as well, I'm sorry. Um, no, no, this is a anarchy kind of podcast, so go, go into as much <laughs> detail as oh, you feel great. comfortable Fine. with. Yeah, so you could, do, you could do it through the live stream and things like that, which a lot of people do, and they, they, so a lot of people, most people put a lot of work into live streams, which some people don't. And there's other ways of doing it, you can do sponsored content like you would do on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter. Most of sponsored content that's on TikTok is music because music drives the platform. It's in all like most videos you'll see you'll have a music tagged at the bottom of what artist that is, etc. Um, so you get brands that will come up to you want to like promote a song and like you then get a campaign and you talk to like the, the art, not the artist, but like the music record label, etc. Um, or your management and you kind of figure out what you want to do with that. Oh, there's, so there's a variety of ways you can put things in your bio, you can make videos that are ads. Like I like help sometimes I'll try and help companies like build on TikTok. So if you've really got a lot of knowledge, you can use it to then help companies build on the platform. Like they can like pay you or you can work with them or whatever way you want to do that. And you can help them build, give them knowledge to build on TikTok. Um, I have know a lot of people that have done that. There's some people that I know that have stopped doing TikTok altogether on their page and went and ran uh, another TikTok account for the business because that's how t TikTok now is not going anywhere. We, we know that. Um, in terms of um, how big it is, it's, it's, it's got to the point where it's so big I think that it'll just consistently evolve like things like Instagram and Snapchat and stuff. So companies are now jumping on it now and realizing they'll get they'll do good to start with and they'll be like, oh, we need to have. How do we keep going? How do we keep putting out the content? So there's a variety of ways you can make money on it. Some more reliable than others. But that sounds really wise, Stephen, because it means that your um, your income doesn't just rest on the platform, on, on what the, the platform mm -hmm. deigns to give you, like on YouTube. The, you, you are building relationships that will last longer than the next yeah. payout. Yeah, exactly. And I think, I think there's a difference with it. Is we would love on TikTok if, if, if we ever, ever our content was monetized and we got, we'd love it. It'd be great. You know what I mean? Like, just like YouTube does. I don't know how they would do that now. You know, you've got different things where they're, they're trying to build different things to help creators and, and uh, brands connect. TikTok will try to actively do that. However, I think they need to just be like, they need to make it, not for everyone, because if that happened, you'd, you'd have hundreds of millions of people 
like abusing some sort of system so they have to make it a way like they do YouTube you have to have a certain amount of watch time and a certain amount of videos and stuff but um, we would love it if it was monetized but um, there is ways to do it you know and, we, and, and relying on me making the, the work the effort to make a video get me paid instead of relying on like the views not relying on the views but it's, it's better thinking I've worked hard for this money than like not doing anything at all really. If anyone's listening from TikTok, we would still love for our content to be monetized, i.e. our like videos getting views. Because no one's gonna pass that up, are they? If they could do it in a way that was that was fun and great, then we would love it. Oh, should we both ask TikTok now? Please yeah, TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, do it. Please. Monetize. Monetize the videos. <laughs> Monetize videos and I think that the way to do that and I think you know it's hard for them because it is because the, the, they've, they've, they've worked hard to get monetization to like a creator place where you can brands and creators can connect which is fine and fun however brands some brands will, are going to undercut the smaller creators and give them peanuts and they're going to take them I like I love TikTok as a platform and, and you know I've been on it for, for years so like it's my it's my baby um, but like there's a lot of new creators that come up now and, and they, they get a bit of a following really quickly and then it kind of plateaus which happens to everyone and like and then you know if they've not got a lot of knowledge on the platform or how to um, keep themselves safe from brands or people try to take advantage of them like management or whatever You've got to try and, you try and let them know, but at the end of the day, you know, some people just are going to choose the wrong decisions. But that's the issue that you have now. You've got a lot of people coming up, get big for a little bit, and then get like, oh, what do I do? And people trying to take advantage of them. It's like any platform you're on, any social media, anything like that. There's always someone that's probably out there to kind of see what they can get from you without really giving you your worth. Whereas I'm really lucky, I've kind of, I've, I've built my knowledge up. I know... Not worth in terms of money, because money's, you know, it's something you think about because it's a job, but it's not my first priority. My first priority is, will my content inspire people in some way? That's all I, that's what I think about when I make content. Money comes like third or fourth for me. Don't get swept up in the things, this is from personal experience, but don't get swept up in this, you know, look at everyone else's accounts for the views, comparing yourself to other people, to um, thinking you've got to be like someone else. I don't know all those things, and it honestly, what it does, it just ruins your whole entire vibe. It's not something you want to kind of get involved in. You've got to be able to be yourself. So don't, don't compare yourself to anyone else, ever. Just don't do it. Believe me, it's the best thing. Just don't do it. And please, Hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more great British YouTubers. There's a playlist and a podcast. All the links are in the description below. I'm Neil Mossy and I'll see you on the very next Great British YouTubers.